Hello, hopefully you guys have watched the um, preparation of the polo season where I prepare the horses. Now it's time to prepare myself. So I'm going to go out and sticking ball, which just means training. I've got Lolita, my favourite polo pony out of them all. She's in her full polo gear, so she's in her running reins and her pelham. It's a, it's a loose pelham, so it's got a link in it, so it's nice and light. I've got a running reins or a drawing reins, but I'm not going to need them today because I'm just going to go canter around steadily. She's also got standing martingale, which is um, a regulation. It's in the, so you have to have a standing martingale, regardless of the head height of the horse. Uh, breastplate is also incredibly important to keep the saddle in one place, uh, it doesn't, so it doesn't go too far back. What I like to do is I like to attach my breastplate to the first link of my girth so that it gives more room for their shoulders and my running reins to the back of my girth so it's so they're not as long. The reins aren't as long so they don't go over my knee when I'm playing or over someone else's uh, get tangled up. So also she's in a polo saddle. It's I find it easier to train in the in the correct gear. So a polo saddle has absolutely no knee rolls at all. Your knee is up against their shoulder and it's very flat so you can get out of the saddle. I also have my big polo stirrups. They're larger than normal to jump in stirrup, stirrups because you need uh, your balance correct so you can hit the ball. So I'll just run you through some of the gear we use for polo. There are eight essential pieces of equipment we use. The first one is the helmet. This is incredibly important. There are regulations on what uh, make there needs to be and what protections. If you hit your head and will get kicked, this is essential for, to saving your well head, I guess. We also use polo goggles. These also have to be regulated in order to be safe enough to use. They can't shatter. They must protect you from stones, from mud, and also the ball, as well as the stick. These have saved my eyes a few times. I will never play polo without polo goggles. Another essential item are gloves. These can be used, um, there are no regulations for these, but these are important because they, when you hold your stick, you want as much grip as you want, as well as your reins, so they've got to be suited for the player. Some players like wearing gloves and some players don't. I personally have to wear gloves, I have to just look up a pair of reins and I get blisters, so I wear gloves. Also, the stick, this is obviously essential. wearing two incredibly important pieces of gear. I'm wearing thick leather boots uh, that support my ankle as well as my calf. I don't want them to get damaged. Uh, they, the boot stops a little bit shorter than say a venting boot because they have to accommodate for the size of the knee pad. Knee pads are incredibly important because it is a contact sport. You're riding up against horses all the time, different players. Without those your knees will travels up to 120 miles an hour. You've got to know where this is flying around all the time. So you've got to wear the correct gear to protect yourself because this hurts like hell if it hits you.
when I stick and ball, I like to have the horse as calm as possible, just relax, steady canter, no sudden stops and no tight turns because I'm on grass and it is quite slippy. I'm riding Lolita, a 10 year old mare that I made myself. She's a lovely mare, but she can be quite hot. So stick and balling is just a tool that I use just to calm her down, just to tell her that you don't have to go everywhere at 100 miles an hour. So I do lots of little small taps just because it's the start of the season. I want to get her listening to the sound of the ball and just get her used to that. She is an incredible mare. She's incredibly fast and she's got good breeding. I bought her for £200 from a caravan park and then we found out that she's related to Dancing Brave, an incredibly fast and successful racehorse. So we did quite well with her breeding there. It took a long time to train. She was 18 months old when we got her and now she's only now she's in her third polo season. So she's taken about eight years to train, but oh well, she's worth it. She's an incredibly agile, fast horse and incredibly responsive. So if you like this video, please give us a like and a subscribe and there'll be more polo content on the way. Thank you for watching.